With Halloween right around the corner, grab your kids, your grandkids, we're making some fancy peanut butter witch hat cookies. We're gonna need two types of sprinkles and a bag of Hershey's Hugs candies. It's all about having fun today, so let's get started. We need half a cup of softened butter and one cup of sugar. Give it a quick spin. There will be an ingredients list posted on the screen towards the end of this video, as well as listed in the description box below. Toss in one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix, mix, mix. Nice and creamy. In goes 3 fourths of a cup of creamy peanut butter. If you're allergic to peanut butter or just don't like it, you can use other nut butters. Sunflower butter, cashew butter, soy nut butter, almond butter, or Nutella are all good options. More mixing. We're gonna dye our cookies purple. I'm using AmeriColor Gel Food Coloring. I do suggest using gel food coloring over regular water-based food coloring as it's way more concentrated. You'll get that nice dark purple with just a few squeezes. Also, pick whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be purple. Just make sure your sprinkles match whatever color you pick. Next goes in our dry ingredients. We'll need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. This is to help keep the cookies from spreading, so if you'd rather have slightly flatter cookies, you might want to omit the cornstarch. After scraping the bowl, grab your cookie scooper and scoop out about a tablespoon's worth. Roll it into a ball, something like this, and drop it into some chunky sugar crystals. I'll put a link to these down below if you're interested in the exact same ones. Now this looks pretty good, but there are some negative spaces. We're gonna fill these with purple sanding sugar, also linked down below. Now we have two different textures and an awesome looking ball of cookie dough. <laughs> To a parchment lined baking sheet, place your cookie balls. They aren't going to spread much, so no need to worry about overcrowding your baking sheet. Into the oven at 350 degrees for 9 to 11 minutes, depending on your oven. While those are in the oven, let's unwrap our candies. I'm using these, I guess they're called hugs. It's important to get them unwrapped now so they're ready to go after the cookies come out of the oven. Take a look at these beauties. <laughs> they look like they're covered in glitter, but they're not. <laughs> it's 100% sugar. I always get worried about using edible glitter. I get this no no feeling, and I can't bring myself to use this. Stuff. These are hot out of the oven, so we're gonna let them cool for about three to four minutes before sticking the chocolate on top. We don't want our chocolate to melt. After your cookies have had a chance to cool but not completely, go ahead and stick that candy on top. Sink it down into your cookie, and it's okay if the cookie cracks a bit, it's not a big deal. Once every cookie has the candy, we're gonna stick these in the freezer for about two minutes. This is to make sure the candy doesn't melt from any heat still trapped in the cookie while also helping the cookie to quickly finish cooling down. Ta-da! Our beautiful witch hat cookies. I think these came out great. What kid wouldn't go bananas seeing these? in their lunchbox at school. Now the color does throw me off a bit when I bite into it. I'm not expecting something purple that tastes like peanut butter cookies, but <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> peanut butter and chocolate, such a good combo. Here's that ingredients list I promised you. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out, and I'll see you all in the next video.